drums. A poem in Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman is full of excited power. In it, Whitman's speaker addresses the drums and bugles of war, telling them to beat and blow. He demands that they alert the public, calling their attention to the war. There are many who would go about their daily activities, sleepers in their beds, singers singing, lawyers going before judges, and even a bridegroom seeking some peaceful time with his new wife. But the speaker implores the drums to rattle quicker and the bugles to wilder blow. The instruments should not stop for anything, not the timid or the child or even the dead. Whitman wrote Beat, Beat Drums in 1861 at the start of the American Civil War and revised it in later editions of Leaves of Grass. In this poem of emphatic demand, Whitman's persona asserts himself as the speaker, not by using I, but by using the imperative, giving commands to the personified instruments used in the Army Corps, the bugles and the drums. Whitman makes liberal use of exclamation marks to emphasize the loud disturbance these instruments create in the solemn church or for the peaceful farmer. By the last line, the speaker drops any pretense of having control over the war. He simply calls the drums terrible and the bugle loud. Although Whitman does not usually use iambic meter, where the stress is on every second syllable, he does so in the last line of the first stanza. So fierce you were and pounds you drums, so shrill your bugles blow. He also repeats the same line to start each stanza. Perhaps he's making a statement that even in the chaos of war, there is some order in the regimental process of the army, or at least in the steady beat of the drums. So it is in the throbbing, marching movement of the poem. Whitman also employs onomatopoeia. Words like whir, rumble, and rattle, and thump all produce a sound like what they are describing. These words convey a sense of powerful sound to the reader, the kind of ominous sound the weeper and old man and mother might hear as the war draws closer and closer to them.